Well, 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 hello there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Quality and I'm back with another episode of Color Malice. Uh, before we start the episode, we have our daily quote, which is now going to be an actual daily quote now because I've decided I'm going to only upload one video a day now instead of two just because it's kind of hard keeping up with two videos a day. I mean, I could do it, but I'm also trying to work on other stuff now, so I'm gonna cut it down to one video a day. Um, it's not gonna be like a whole entire week of like one single game. I'm gonna like oscillate between the like three games that I have right now, but now our daily quote will actually be a daily quote. And today's is gonna be... I can't change the direction of the wind, but I can adjust my sails to always reach my destination. And this one is from Jimmy Dean. I also realized that in the last episode I didn't say who that quote was from. That one was from Teddy Roosevelt, I think. Let me make sure. Sorry, not Teddy Roosevelt. Eleanor Roosevelt. My bad. Um, if you're thinking the name Jimmy Dean sounds familiar, it's because it's the breakfast brand. Which is who it's from. But... He says, it's basically, you can't always control what life throws at you, but you can always like, you know, everything's a learning opportunity. You can always use it to further your path towards whatever you want. That's not always the easiest thing to do though. So if you can figure out how to do that, please let me know because I would like to know as well. <laughs> anyway, back to, back to the game. Well, now she's basically an over-glorified call center. Well, back then, I... I never would have imagined things would have turned out this way. No, it didn't. My feelings haven't changed a bit from back then. Without thinking, I flashed a smile in response to Saiki's grin. I feel a bit more relaxed now. Saiki knows just the right thing to say when my mind is like this. He's like your best friend. He's a big reason why I, why I can stay optimistic in this job, despite all the dilemmas I face. お疲れ様です。もちたさん。ああ、お前はもう上がりか。いえ、もう一頑張りしないとです。それじゃあ失礼しますね。Man, their uniforms are really nice. But of course, it's an ultimate game. Of course, it's gonna look nice. Sai so keep out slightly towards Mochita and gave me a look. Yeah, thanks. お前たちは相変わらず仲がいいな。明日も飲みに行くんだろ。だ、did <笑> I will. I I think I played Twisted too much. Every time it switches to another scene, I'm like, "Where's the Mickey?" I'm like, I'm not playing Twisted though. After I handed my report off to Mochita, I suddenly remembered something. I should stop by before I head home. And stop by uh, the shooting range. When I have even a little bit of free time, I practice at the station's shooting range. I want to improve my skills, just in case they're needed. Plus, shooting helps calm my nerves and deal with anxiety. I took a firing stance and took a deep breath. My hands used to shake just holding it. Even when firing on static targets, I was reluctant to hold a weapon for killing people. I was afraid. The day that I dispelled that hesitation was during training one day at the academy. Oh. 
その顔じゃまた迷ってるみたいだな最近 I don't think I'm suited for this job after all. I just. I'm just shooting a target now. But what if it were a real person? I know I'd miss in that situation. Hoshino. Omae wa sa. Jiu ga nan no tame ni aru to omae. For catching criminals, right? So ko kara shite chotto atama katain ja nai ka. Ore wa. Jiu o utsu no wa. Mamoru tame da to omae.誰もが持てるもんじゃない。俺たち警察だけに許された。守る手段だろ。シューティングとプロテクト。人質を取った犯人の隙を突く。逃亡しようとする奴の足止めをする。正確な射撃能力があれば、それも可能になる。でも、
Should I be happy to hear that? もちろん褒めてるんだぜ。俺は尊敬してるんだ。お前のそういう努力家で一生懸命でまっすぐなとか。Where's this coming from? You won't get anything out of flattering me. He's always confident, so something fell off. My slippers are not here. Saiki let out a small chuckle at my attempt to deflect my embarrassment. お前は昔から熱心だったけどさ。ここ数ヶ月頻繁に来るようになったのは銃刀法が解除されたからだろ。Yeah. As he said, it was around then. He knew even though I hadn't spoken about it. I definitely intensified my training after the weapons ban was lifted. Because this hunk of metal, which a trained police officer needed conviction to wield, had been distributed to the untrained masses, the world had turned into a place where people were half -jokingly would half-jokingly draw guns at other people, just as those men had done earlier today. しかしな。その鬱憤を晴らすために誰かを傷つけようとするな。その銃は身を守るために使うものだ。武器として扱うのは許さん。When I remembered Mochita's words, this pistol or the pistol felt heavier than ever. This was not something to be taken lightly. I'm sure that many of the citizens, baffled by the government policy, felt similarly. Some objected to the distribution of guns, but now some people will obviously use them. And not just for self-defense. I don't know what they were thinking when they decided to make civilians carry this burden. I have a conviction to shoot. I am a cop. That's my responsibility. I'll fulfill my duty no matter what. But... <laughs> I see what you're saying. Even if the government says this is for self defense, I think it's wrong. The people who run the country don't want to talk about what they are what they've done here. I'm not in a position to protest it, but I can't approve of a world where people are suddenly made to wield a weapon. Words alone aren't enough. When the moment comes, my skills need to prevent civilians from ever having to use their guns. Oh, Saiki strolled away with a brief laugh. As I watched him leave, he looked back at me with a vague smile. Yeah. I could now resolutely answer the question that he had asked me before. I returned Saiki's smile and started Settled into a firing stance with my gun. I pulled the trigger without hesitation, as if to demonstrate my determination. Conviction was carved into my heart. Six hours later. I left the station and walked to my home when a brisk wind made me shiver. <sighs> That's cold. Even though through a muffler and a thick coat, the December chill stung my body. My breath exited my body in a tiny white cloud, and I glanced at the nearby buildings. This place sure has changed. Shinjuku used to be bustling day and night. Nowadays, it was mostly empty after nightfall. Ah, the trash truck is here. Much of society has 
or much of society just stopped functioning once Shinjuku became quarantined. Sco shops, schools, and utilities continued to work to the government's satisfaction, but everything else was non-existent. So long as the criminals remained at large, there would always be an uneasiness here. It's hard to tell people it's hard to tell people to live their normal lives in this situation. You couldn't just visit friends anymore. You had to weigh it against being targeted. People didn't know whether they or their loved ones would be the next victims, but they had to go on living somehow. It was hard to put into words just how much I missed life before the quarantine. Oh, this hits extra hard now. I played this before covid and now playing it after covid is like not after covid but during covid and it's like each guy i feel you <laughs> i know i'm not the only one who has come to this realization hmm? oh her phone is so cute i forgot i hurriedly took out my phone which was displaying mochida's name does he have a problem with my report Wondering what I'd do if I was asked to return, I answered the call. Yes, this is Hoshino. Shinjuku Garden. Anyone hearing that name would be wary. The X day incident in August, Shinjuku Garden was the scene of the crime and the epicenter of much public fear. It should be closed off to the public. Acknowledged. I'll head there right away. I know. I won't act on my own. I ended the call and hastily made my way over to Shinjuku Garden. When I arrived, I quickly scouted the area and assessed the situation. Nobody's here? The area was dark and visibility was poor. It'd be tough for me to tell if anyone was lying in ambush in there. Just in case, I drew my sidearm. I'd gotten into the habit of always carrying my weapon, and I had practiced often, but I had never actually used it in the field. So, to be honest, I was nervous. Still, if I was confronted with someone who intended to take the lives of others, I would... I can't hesitate. While cautiously eyeing my surroundings, I approached the seal gate to Shinjuku Garden. Why isn't Mochida here yet? It seemed like it was taking him an awfully long time to get to Shinjuku Garden. I wonder if he's gotten into some trouble. While I was debating whether to call him, I heard the sound of footsteps approaching. Ah, uh, is that Mochida? I turned around and got immediately tased. I felt something push against my waist, then a shock coursed through my body. Do I have to press anything? Oh, I do. <laughs> we would have been staring at that blank screen for a very, very long time. I opened my eyes and saw a flickering light. Where am I? I tried to get up, but my body was numb and unresponsive. I couldn't move. Wh what's going on? I tried to move my head to at least get a sense of my surroundings. Something's there? I felt a strange pressure around my neck. I wanted to check what it was, but I couldn't even raise my hands. No, why? It was as if my body wasn't my own. Still, I gradually regained the use of my hands and I timidly felt my neck. 
It should be I gradually regained. Is this a collar? I grew pale as I felt the metallic coldness. What is this? What is it doing on me? What am I doing here? Looking around, I saw that the floor around me was covered in what looked like red flowers. Flowers, scarlet like blood. Thank you for your unneeded input, motorcycle. Every day, daily occurrence, I yell at motorcycles. Local newspaper, old woman constantly yells at motorcycles passing by her lawn every day. <sighs> what has the world come to? Looking up, I could see the moonlight cascading through the stained glass. Am I in a church? My body was paralyzed for reasons unknown. I was wearing an unfamiliar collar. Yet the ephemeral beauty from the stained glass dominated my attention for the moment. Where have I seen this stained glass? <gasps> it scared me, oh my god. What is today? <laughs> the voice was close. It was from the caller. Who are you? Did you put this color on me? Why did you? Sono Tony, Ima Kotai Koto, thank you. Tada, Dono Michianata, whatever any Tadoritz Koto in What do you mean? あなたは選ばれた実験体なのです。これから私はX what have you done to me? お静かに。出ないと死にますよ。ポイズン they say their goal isn't to kill me. That's why I'm in this paralyzed state. I have no idea what they're up to. Everything I learned only made me more tense. Still, as a police officer, I couldn't just... I couldn't just sit quietly and take this. After all, the voice coming from the caller mentioned something about X-Day. I have to investigate further. I need to at least get some useful information so I can report it. Well, there goes that plan. Oh yes, Ichika has a brother. I don't know how much this criminal knows about me, but if they're going to threaten the people close to me, I, I won't forgive you. I'll never forgive you for this. Well, that... Lisobakari 
さん、見せてください。星の位置かさん。I just remember this game has a lot of bad endings, and there was a trophy back on the Vita to get every single bad ending. And I sat there with a guide and hunted through and got every single bad ending. The bad endings are actually like written out like really well. They're not just, oh, you died because you missed the shot at the end. But boy, did they take forever to like hunt down every single one. Oh, here's the song again.、Uh, I'm gonna skip it. I cannot skip it. Oh, I can skip it. There you go. <laughs>、um, meh, I'll go on for a little bit longer. I wonder how much time has passed. Despite my entreaties, the caller was silent. My body was still paralyzed, and worse, I felt it getting harder and harder to breathe. Girl, you're dying. They said it wasn't a lethal dose, but I don't know if that's true. At this rate, if no one finds me soon, don't worry about it. We can't have you die within the prologue. As that thought suddenly crossed my mind, my vision grew dark. Will someone save Ichika? Who knows? We'll find out in the next episode. I went on for 30 seconds longer. But thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.